Hey everyone, this is the Blackjack Hacker here and welcome to a brand new video. So today I'm going to talk about the best place to sit at a blackjack table. Because yes, there is a spot, a secret spot, okay, that can actually make you win a lot more. And I'm going to explain the different reasons why this spot is so much more better than the other ones, okay? So make sure to stay tuned and let's get right into it. So where is the best spot to sit at? So the best place to sit at is actually the last seat, guys, okay? The one completely to the left, okay? And I'm gonna explain to you the reasons why. So the reason number one is because you can predict the cards that are going to be dealt, okay, guys? I know this sounds like really weird, but it's actually true, okay? So I'm gonna go on a whiteboard and show you guys how you can actually predict the next cards that are going to come out if you're sitting at the last seat. Okay, so I'm on the online whiteboard and this over here is just a screenshot of an online casino. So as you can see, the guy sitting in last over here has a 15, okay? And these are all the players uh, that are sit sitting before him. So if you actually see in the last cards that have been dealt in this hand, you can see that this card over here is a 9, okay? So a 9 is a card that can potentially bust a 15, okay? Um, over here... Uh, the guy actually busted with a queen, okay? A queen would have made you bust on a 15, okay? And basically, uh, why you can actually predict is because if you see that there's multiple high cards that have been dealt by the um, other players before you, you know that there's a high chance of you getting a low card. So then it's better to hit on, let's say, a 15 or a 16, okay? But let's say there's a bunch of low cards that are coming before you uh, that would be a time where you would stay on a 15, okay, versus a dealer's 10, okay? Because even though basic strategy tells you to hit on, let's say, 15 or 16 versus 10, which is true, okay? But if you actually go further than that and actually analyze the cards that are being dealt before you, you can actually predict what the next card could be and you can actually save some money and stay on uh, some high busting hands instead of hitting. So let's just take for example over here, okay guys, that instead of this guy hitting a 9, let's say he would have hit it, I don't know, a 4, okay? And let's say this guy over here, instead of staying on a 15, he would have hit it and it would have been a 2. Let's say this guy who had 14 would have hit it and let's say it was a, I don't know, a 4 that came out, okay? Um, you can see that there would, there would have been actually 3 low cards in a row so the chances of you actually getting a low card once again would be really really low okay so um that means that if you would hit there's a high really high chance that that will actually be a card that would bust you okay so this is why you can actually predict the cards okay and this is why it can actually benefit you to actually sit um, at the last seat okay so remember with this card prediction stuff with staying and hitting you only need to do this with if you have a 15 or a 16 versus a dealer's up card that is a high card okay so remember that so the second reason is because you have no pressure when you're actually playing in the last seat okay so if you've already went to a real life casino you'll realize that uh the gameplay is really fast paced okay people play really fast the dealers also deal the cards really fast so it goes really fast okay so you don't have too much time to think and to play so let's say you're in the first place completely to the right so you're the first uh one to take action well, the other players behind you sometimes will get you, uh, give you pressure and also the dealer pointing at your hand will give you pressure telling you, okay, what action do you want to do? And sometimes uh, by playing in the first places like first spot or second spot, it goes so fast that you have a lot of pressure and you can make some mistakes sometimes, okay? So for example, I don't know, let's say you have a 12 versus a dealer's 2. Um, well, a lot of people, uh, for example, that have too much pressure would have, for example, stayed on that. But the right play to do on that play with a 12 versus a dealer's 2 up card is to hit. Okay, so a lot of people make uh, mistakes, especially when they have a lot of pressure. But if you would have been in the last seat, okay, when you're in the last seat, you have a lot of time to think about what your optimal play is, okay? So you can easily consult, you have a lot of time to easily consult your basic strategy chart and check, okay, 12 versus 2 is considered as hit, so I know what to do. So I already prepared 
and already know in advance what you want to play uh, when you're in the last seat. So that can really, really be beneficial for you. Now, reason number three is that you can actually improve your card counting accuracy by sitting in the last seat. Now, if you don't know about card counting, it's actually a way to legitimately beat the casino and make loads of profits playing blackjack, okay? So if you've never heard about this, I talk about this a lot through my channel and I have a video taking you step by step on how it works, okay? And how you can beat the casino with counting cards in blackjack, okay? So I'll have a video uh, in the description that you guys can click and watch uh, after watching this video. But yeah, basically um, why it's so important uh, if you combine this with card counting is because, like I said, okay, if you're playing in real life, uh, the, the game is really fast paced. So let's say you're in the first spot, uh, you would have to count the cards really fast. And let's say you're the first one to play, it will just put you a lot of pressure. And let's say you, let's say on that hand, you haven't, uh, counted all the cards yet and you don't know exactly what the running count is but now the dealers talking to you and saying okay what action do you want to do so you can easily lose the count by forgetting or not completing uh, and counting the whole cards of the hand okay but by being a last place you have a lot more time to analyze all the cards and recheck if your card counting and your running count is a hundred percent good and accurate uh, so it just gives you a lot more time and it's just going to be way more accurate. And remember that uh, the accuracy of your card counting skills can really affect how much you make. OK, because if, you know, you um, misread the cards because let's say you were in first place and it was just going too fast for you. Well, actually getting mixed up with the running counts and true counts can really affect how much money you can make with card counting. So you always want to be sure to be 100% accurate. So by being last place, you just have a lot more time and you can be sure because you can easily double check your running count if it's good by the time the other players play before you, okay? So this was pretty much it, guys, um, for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, okay, for new content. Um, I'm gonna bring a ton of new card counting content and just content to make you win in, in Blackjack because my goal is, you know, just to, you know, there's a lot of people that go gambling, that love gambling, but lose a lot of money. But my goal is to just help these people instead of losing money, uh, winning money when going to the casinos and gambling. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.